hi viewers welcome to tip for you tutorials once again in this video I will be showing you how to taxi your flight uh, from your gate to the runway in my previous taxiing tutorial video I did some mistakes so I would like to clear it in this video and tell you how it is done exactly right now my flight is in gate A10 of San Francisco International I have fired, I have filed an IFR flight from San Francisco to Los Angeles International and uh, so that's it we are tra starting our taxiing now first get your IFR clearance Read back the air for clearance. Boeing, November 737, X-ray, cleared Los Angeles Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climate maintained, 900,000. Departure on 134.5, squawk 0316. Boeing, read 7, X-ray, read back is correct. Contact ground on 121.8 when ready to taxi. Okay, so we got our IFR clearance. In the IFR clearance, they told us to climb and maintain 9,000. So that will be your initial altitude after departure. You need to set that value in the MCP. So by pressing uh, Shift A, you can bring the you can cycle through the views by pressing A or Shift A. And I have take. I mean, this is the 2D cockpit view of your flight. And I have to set our initial altitude in the MCP here, which is 9,000. I set my altitude, initial altitude as 9000 and let's set your speed as uh, 160 knots which is your which must be your v2 speed v2 is the speed of your aircraft above which your flight can climb from the runway even with an engine failure so i have and v2 is calculated based on your aircraft weight including the weight of your cargoes the passengers as well as the fuel um, here I have not calculated it I just set it as 160 oh. so that's it and I have to switch on my flight detector and press F7 key three times to set your flaps to 5 we will be using flaps 5 for your takeoff so you have to set that flaps before you start your taxi and go to the upper head panel here you have to switch on the taxi lights as well as your strobe and uh, everything is done so uh, now let us uh, get our taxi clearance You got your taxi clearance. You have to taxi to runway one left via taxiway alpha, and uh, this is the top down view of your flight. Now, if you are uh, uh, here, you have an option called turn on progressive taxi. Click on that to switch on your progressive taxi, and you can see a yellow arrow marks is being displayed here so this is the way which you should follow to reach from one way one left and now you can start your pushback so here you have to taxi through this way so what you need to do is you have to push back your flight in such a way that your tail tail of the aircraft points towards the left and the nose towards the right and for that you have to press one as soon as you press shift p Sh you, ca you can start your pushback by pressing shift p 
and then press 1 immediately after you press shift P to push back your flight in such a way that your tail points towards left and nose towards right. If you want in the other way that that is your you want your tail to be pushed in to the left sorry to the right and uh, your nose to left you can press 2 as soon as you press shift P. So here I'm going to start my push back release your parking brakes by pressing the period key then press shift P and then 1. Now you can see that yeah, my flight has started pushing back. And you can see that the flight is being pushed in such a way that your turn tail is going to the left and nose to the right. If you feel like your pushback is enough if you want to stop the pushback press shift p once again and I, you can i am i'm not turning this flight it's being done automatically i mean it's being pushed in then this way i'm not using any rudders or wheels to turn my flight like this okay this is enough for me so i'm pressing shift p once again and then pressing control period key to set my parking brakes I've set my parking brakes and let me now continue my taxi so I have to release my parking brakes pre period key once again to release my parking brakes press and hold F3 a little so that you can increase the thrust a little Now you can use the rudders to turn left and right. This was a mistake which I did in my previous video. I used my stick to uh, turn left and right. Actually you should use your rudders to turn left and right. You can press 0 and enter keys to turn left, uh, enter key to turn left, sorry to turn right and zero keys to turn left do not taxi at a high speed always taxi at a speed which is below 30 knots and that ensures safety when you taxi that's the rule here you can see that my nose sorry the top of the stick is uh, adjacent to the yellow line this ensures that your flight is moving exactly over the yellow line and while you take your turns you must be at a speed below 15 knots I have not used any add-ons in this video. Um, I have used only the default FSX. And if you feel like your speed is being get, is getting increased, you can use the uh, brakes by pressing the period key and uh, reduce your speed. You need to follow those yellow arrow marks. And once again rem reminding you always taxi through that yellow line okay so let, let's reduce the throttle all the way back idle to the idle by idle by pressing F1 okay so now let us acknowledge the Roger Boeing 37 X ray. So that's what. Now again, release your parking brakes. Set a little thrust and continue your taxi. So that's how we do. When uh, there is when there is some kind of uh, vehicles or aircrafts crossing you, normally ATC will. Uh, give you a caution, uh, warning message saying that there is an air other traffic hold your position 
once they ask us to hold the position press break and uh, stop completely stop your flight from taxi set the parking brakes let the vehicle or the aircraft cross you and uh, your ATC will give clearance to continue your taxi Re if you get your continued taxi message, release the parking brakes and continue your taxi. It's my luck so that I was able to show you that this kind of stuff while in taxi. Normally it doesn't happen, it happens rarely or it happens when you are using a very high traffic. Always keep an eye on the road. Okay, turning right here. The controller has asked us to hold short of runway. So it means that you are not supposed to uh, enter the runway. You have to stop your flight at the yellow black checked lines which is somewhere near the runway now we are almost near the runway one left there you can see that you can see the taxi sorry you can see the runway here and uh, ahead of me is the uh, yellow lines double line Okay, so that was a message for another aircraft. They will be taxiing to the runway one left uh, as we did. Okay, so I have to stop before these uh, double yellow lines here in front of me. These double lines. No part of your aircraft should cross this double yellow line. Or you may even hold short at this point here. In le let it be anything. You should not cross and enter to this runway if they have asked you to hold short of runway. And uh, I have reached the uh, the holding short point. Now it's time for me to take off my flight and continue my work. So this is how we taxi your flight from uh, your terminal to the runway. Hope you like this video. If you have any doubts or feedbacks, please comment below. So click this button to see the rest of the video where I will be taking off my flight. And thank you so much for watching the video. Bye bye.